Hey there, Carlos here. Today what I want to do is I want to show you how to clean these Nike uh, cloth mesh athletic shoes, well running shoes. And as you can see they've been kind of ran around on in the dirt. Oh wow, okay. You can see this rock here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to clean them properly because I think in my past video I, used to, I mentioned I worked in a shoe uh, cobble shop repairing and fixing cleaning shoes and I'm very familiar about how to clean with these now believe it or not but these shoes you can get totally wet you can get these soaking soaking wet I don't recommend submerging them under water or using them as a shoe that you go to the water park or to the beach because actually it can damage the internal uh, what do you call it, the adhesion that keeps this upper attached to the lower so here's how I'm going to show you going to do it First, what we're going to do is we're going to take the laces off, of course. And these shoes are actually quite good. I like the style because there's no tongue on the shoe. You know, on the other shoes, the tongue used to kind of slip left and right and it'd be such a hassle. Now, about the inside, if you want, if it is still the same type of lining that it came with the shoe, these can actually come off. You might have to kind of reach in and kind of break it out. And as you can see, you know, it's not that bad, but sometimes you, that can be clean too. But all you got to do is just uh, leave them out to dry after you've washed them. So here, here's how it's going to go. We're going to turn on this water here. Well, yeah, it doesn't have to be warm. It could be whatever, you know. It's like the shoe's going to notice how cold it is. And just go ahead. Just drench it up. Drench it up. Don't be afraid. Don't, don't worry about it. See, see all that? That's all soap. Now you could take one of these brushes. I've seen these type of brushes at your 99 cent store or Dollar General. And you can use regular plain dish soap. This one's a palm olive, by the way. Okay, this is how you do it. Just get into it. You don't want to push too hard. Just kind of glide over it with light pressure. And start with the cloth first because if you start on the bottom then what you're going to go on the top it doesn't make any sense you're putting even more heavier dirt back on the top of it so you want to take care of the uppers first now I'm not going to waste too much time I mean not waste sorry I'm not going to use up too much time to try to get it spotless that would be in, almost impossible okay so once you see like it's all pretty clean just rinse it off just drench it off now you may have seen other videos I watch other videos okay yeah sure I, I've surfed the YouTube channel and found other videos exactly well not exactly what I'm doing but they kind of didn't want to mess up the shoe they kind of go like this and they just wipe it they just tap the sides of the water like this like that they don't go like this you can it's okay it's just fine just like I said you just don't have to um, don't submerge or walk underwater with these shoes oh but like I was saying before I've seen other videos where they just took brushes and cleaned it and they don't rinse it off completely they actually use a towel to kind of just dab it dry to try to rub off rub it off with a cotton cotton cloth now let me ask you something especially ladies if you have beautiful nice long hair and you shampooed your hair are you going to rinse it completely or are you going to just use a towel and just wipe all the soap off no no one does that it's ludicrous it's ridiculous so you need water that will completely rinse the dirt away from the fibers okay so now I'm going on the edges here edges of the sole on the front now I you can also use a very very light gauged steel wool for sometimes the edges the tip of the toe of the shoe are quite stubborn I mean stubborn Sometimes um, soap, the brush, it just will not rinse it. it won't, it just won't cut it, you know. 
Okay, I think that's about right. Okay. Now, just want to make sure you get all the soap out. You can put it in, in the shoe. It goes. <laughs> they almost drowned them. Okay. Okay, now here's another part here I highly recommend. You get a chamois towel. Chamois towel like this. Uh, they have them at car, um, like at an auto parts shop, like O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's have it, or if you have it. Now, first thing I is important to do is this: roll it up. Well, actually, let's get all the first water out of here. Stick it inside the shoe. Push it towards the whole toe, and push down. I want to try to soak up as much water on the bottom of the shoe well these are called the beddings or the insole insoles linings beddings foot beddings yeah i know all the technical terms of what they're called and you want to just dry up as much as you can you could dab the sole if you want i guess it's quite clean okay that looks pretty clean so here's the, the next shoe i'm going to do so let's compare it Oh, not too bad. Look at that. Looks much more cleaner. Looks more bright. It's got the nice gray or silvish color to it. This is this needs work. So let's start with the second one. More soap. I hope I haven't checked my angle of the camera to see if you can see. I'm sure you all saw it. I kind of went down low, but I I think you saw it. How I'm doing this. Yeah, but like I said before, these brushes, I've seen them at a Dollar General store or your 99 cent only store. Soon to be like $1.99, $2.99, and it's gonna go up and up and up. They hate me cheap for a long time. <laughs> Kind of gives you a nice satisfied feeling of that you're rinsing it off real good. You know, I've seen um, in my years when I was a cobbler. The way how you polish shoes, you use the brush stroke. Going side by side, left and right. It may seem easy, but when you try to do it, it's, it's not that easy at first. I've seen people, they just go like this, or, you know, they're not sure yet. It takes, it does take some practice. Okay. Clean that out. Stick your finger down your throat. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That looks good. Yeah, there's a little bit of food stain stuff that I may have stepped on. Okay, that's the super circuit towel. Goes inside here first. Shove it all the way in. And you want to try to extract as much water as possible. On the uppers and the bottom bedding of the shoe. Okay. And you can do the tops. Just push that on there. Maybe I ought to do the inside just one more time. See all that water? It still extracts a lot of water, still pulling it out. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to leave these upside down for just a bit. Because that's the way you want to dry them. You want to dry them upside down. Okay, so now as for the 
insole. Same thing, you want to get it all wet. And just put some soap on it. Now these, you just simply just go in circles. And I think it's a good idea, you have to clean this because if you don't, maybe whether you notice it or not, because it can get kind of funky in your shoes. <laughs> Especially if you kick them off and you're relaxing with your family. And then you're like, oh man, what is that? Woo! So, I'm pretty sure the dirt came off. I'm sure there's a little bit of a difference there. That looks more, much more lighter, doesn't it? it sure does. Okay, super soaker towel right here. Mash it. Okay. Now when I dry these, I'm going to leave them outside in the sun because it is quite warm today. So I want to help to take advantage of the heat. And you want to dry these upside down. Factory. I mean, you could spend a little more time on it on yourself if you want. For me, I'm just simple, just kind of quick, and just get it done. Okay, and that's about it. No, yeah, and about the laces, those could be done easily. Just take a little jar. Sport of soap. The laces don't look that bad, but I, I just still do it anyways. You know, you can put them in a cup also. Okay. And just let them, just let it soak there for a couple of hours and do the same thing. And clean your brush. want to yeah do the same that's where you put your dishes and scraps maybe where you wash your little infant son maybe <laughs> wash the family dogs in there real quickly these are the laces where they've been soaking for some time now we'll try and get them out and just rinse them off that's all you got to do gallons of water just for some laces huh so bring them to the towel squeeze it squeeze all the water out of the laces then you just unravel it just hang them here to dry or you can hang them outside okay here I am in my backyard so here's how I'm gonna hang them hang them upside down so that the water can drip away from the bedding and out through the edges of the tops so here it goes I'm using this tree that was kind of recently cut down and that's pretty handy he's like saying how much longer do I have to stay up here how much longer <laughs> until you're dry okay all right so that's how you hang them now as for these linings I'm just gonna toss them down here and that's it and they should be dry within about just a couple hours. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps you learn a little bit more about how to clean your shoes, these mesh shoes, all right? All right, have a good day, bye.